All right, so we're cooking steaks on the fire pit. This is a small fire pit, just a generic block fire pit pavers. And uh, my advice is to make a like grill like this. I'm cleaning it now or getting it hot, but I had the fire going for about an hour now. You wanna get, I've used pallets, pallet wood to get it started. And then I have like maybe two full logs split in there to keep the fire hot and long lasting with the ambers. So we got the flames going. Pretty soon is a good time to put your corn and like baked potatoes on because you can do it 20 minutes before you're gonna grill. But I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. It's my second time doing it. It came out fantastic last time. And uh, here's what we're grilling. I got eight ears of corn wrapped in tin foil with salt and pepper and uh, organic butter. I got four ribeye, not prime, but the uh, next choice down, $70 worth of ribeye. And then we have some baked potatoes ready to go on now. Stay tuned, we'll keep you uh, posted as we go. Corn on the left, baked potatoes on the right. It's a bit hot but we're gonna rotate them. Leave these bad boys on there rotating for 20 minutes. Yeah. Yum, yum. So we moved all the hot coals to the left side. We're gonna throw some mahogany shavings where we're gonna cook the steaks for the long haul. This yeah. fire is roaring. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the tongs and I'm gonna oil the shit out of that homemade dowel great steak grilling machine right there <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see what happens look at these steaks what kind of oil are you using to, no, high burning uh vegetable or canola oil canola or peanut peanuts are the best okay Let's see how it's done corn and potatoes should be done this uh grill was running 700 plus degrees we just cleaned the grill so we separated the fire. The left is hot. hot the right is not. So you pour oil on the rag and coat it so we get less stickage. Yes. The more the merrier. Boom. Mm -hmm. Look at that, folks. That's we can money. sear the shit out of those things right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll oil it before we flip them over. So. All right. Let's throw them on. All right. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Put them on. All right. First one searing. Damn Ooh. Look at these ribeyes. Oh my God. Beautiful steaks. Where'd you grab these? Dude? Costco's Waltham. <laughs> Great choice. 67 bucks. Yeah, buddy. So what do you say? Seven minutes? Seven minutes, flip, yeah. and sear again, and then... then we'll move oh, no, not seven minutes. What do you want to do? Sear it for two, three minutes, and then I'll flip? Look, look, hold on. We'll look at it after three minutes and see if we have good grill marks. Okay. And if we do, then we'll flip them. If not, we'll let them sit. All right. Stay tuned. I like them thick. Get them on there for six minutes. Corn and potatoes are good. Put them on in a few minutes. Oh yeah, six minutes. You're flipping these bad puppies. Oh, look at, look at that. Woo, oh. sweet. I was burnt. Phew. I always cry when shit's delicious. Oh, look at the color, look at the caramelization. Hit, listen. That's beautiful. They're seared. Another six, another six minutes. And here's our sponsor for the video. We're sponsoring Cloud Candy. Cloud! You should buy it because it tastes really good and also, um, yeah, because for the sake of it. So, oh, yeah. cover that. The corn's cooked. We just want to heat them through. Like, these are good. You might have rushed this. Uh, 
Look at the corn. Look at that corn's open. Look at the. I know. Look yeah. at the char right there. That's delicious. Holy fuck. So we got another five minutes on the steaks, and we're putting on the corn, the potatoes. Look at this. Another five. Hey, it's the corn is perfect. <laughs> it looks like pilgrim corn. It's Bobby Bird. These. Look at the juice. Look at that. Look at that. See that? A couple minutes left. Well, these are done. Push like, how soft? How soft? Ooh. No, these are good. We can pull those off. Those are medium. Yeah, we can eat those. All right. Right now. Let's do it. Six minutes is done. They're all medium. Medium Mike, rare. Mike, grab that uh, chalkboard, the, the cutter yeah, board. They got to be medium rare. Look at these puppies. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Chad, cutter board. Ready? What are we putting on there? One. It's just rosemary and garlic. Rosemary and garlic. Milk. Rosemary and garlic. No, but well. What's this? Let me, let me set this up. That is time. That's for the potatoes and a little bit on each. A little bit. A little tiny. Just a little taste. That's it. That's it. That's oh, for the potatoes. Wow. You see that? Her. That's how we do it. And then. Mama's steak, it doesn't even need olive oil, it's so good. Let these rest for 10 minutes. Oh my God. Are you excited? I am too. We're taking these off now. They've been done. They were on the warmer. Potatoes and corn. That's I grilled. showed you my street that's corn delicious. recipe. Pepper, salt, and butter. Organic butter I use today. And potatoes. We're going to do some sour cream and scallions. Scallions. Chef. Scallions. Salt, scallions. Pepper, olive oil. salt and pepper. Olive oil. That's, that was just before. before that was before. So. Yes, sir. Uh, very light. Yeah. Dude, look at this. What do you got, Mike? You got scallions on here, oh, yeah. sour cream on your potato. Sour cream, open scallions. Up that, open up that corn. Oh, look at that cha. Oh my God, that's perfect. Actually, the potatoes are perfect because they still got a what little chew got? to them. You took your potato out of the shell? Mm -hmm. Scallions? Oh my God. Oh my God. You can Time and you scallions? Can an now, slice through it a little bit. Give it some slices and we'll slap some, we'll slap some sour cream in that bit. So, so we'll go like this. Like this might be actually a a great little snack bite yeah, yeah, yeah. for all three of us. Hurry up. <laughs> no, but for real, like get that fat yeah. off of it. Daryl, eat that. Mm. The best part is you can take taste the char. Mm. You really can. It's nice, like open fire cooking. Show mm. me inside. What do we do? No, she's pink in the middle. She's pink in the middle. It's been resting for 10 minutes too, remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be good anyway. This corn is good. You can taste the fire. Mm. Hell yeah. What do you think? It's like it's like I'm a caveman just eating my my meat. It's like I that get... dude on Facebook that feel alive. Yeah. He has his fucking hatchet and he cuts up the steak, he slices it. He's got nothing on us. I love the charcoal. I do that. This steak's good. Charred corn. Street corn. That is phenomenal. Let's go! So the conclusion of this video about grilling on the campfire um, was a good experience. I enjoyed it. The steak was awesome. The potatoes, the corn uh recommendations or input that i can give you it's only been the second time i've done it is uh the fire is going to be hot i mean you want to like make sure that it's not too hot so you gotta let the the coals simmer down a bit and then it will cook better or you know more evenly uh this steak came out great it um we did six minutes aside and um yeah like i'm not a pro this is just a quick easy easy steps if i can do it you can do it 
anyway, well, um, all we did for the steaks, they were ribeye steaks. I seasoned them with uh, Himalayan pink salt and peppercorn pepper with, uh, that's all we did. And then we put some uh, thyme and piece of garlic on it after with butter, after it's cooked. But all I did was salt and pepper. And on the corn, I did salt, pepper, and butter as well, wrapped up in foil. Corn and potatoes usually do like 20 minutes. I had it on too much heat. It burnt them, but not in a bad way. It still was really delicious. Uh, the steaks, we did six minutes aside. You gotta kinda go by feel, because I mean, the fire, uh, the grate is so close. I can't like adjust the levels of the grate. So it is what it is. You do it with what you have, uh, yeah. Enjoy it, like and subscribe the channel, and we'll see you at the next one.